Bookflipper.com. What's up, guys? Caleb from thebookflipper.com. We have a very special guest here, all the way from Chicago. Chicago lands, and uh, he's enjoying the beautiful weather. We got to check out some top golf here in Colorado. And you'll notice we have some beautiful letters up on our wall. Scout IQ. These are hot off the presses. Just came in last Friday, Monday. I feel like we got them yesterday. Friday. I don't know. Friday. And we also have a special guest here. Not as permanent, although if he has his way, it will be permanent. We've got Bill from Sell Back Your Book, or also known as Sell Bill Your Book, in the future. So we I are excited. Rebrand would be good. Bill, what do you think of Colorado? Love it. Love it. Yeah, you're going to move yeah. out here? Uh, maybe. Probably not. Probably not. Probably. Now it's The stairs are definitely rough. You feel the uh, <laughs> elevation. and you do. Yeah. I mean, I work out, obviously, and as we all know, and I'm um, the picture of good health. <laughs> Everybody and, does uh, this. Bodybuilding Magazine 101 and all those things. And um, it's it's rough to walk upstairs, even just a few. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was telling you, when we moved out here, got our house, we opened the door, and I ran up the stairs to just make sure, like, check out the house, make sure everything looked good. And I was out of breath immediately. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, we're in trouble. Um, also off camera, we have the lovely Matthew Osborne and Avery Martin, AKA. What's going on, everyone? Romer the Romer. And they're gonna be answering some questions here. Get your five seconds of fame. They're gonna be answering some questions. So if you guys have questions, we're gonna do a bit of a Q&A. But as you guys know, on Wednesday, not even a week ago, right. Scout IQ rolled out a beautiful integration with Sell Back Your Book. So if you guys have version 3.5.0, you can see that. Go open up Scout IQ, it's my invisible app. Hit settings, look at the bottom of the screen, it should say 3.5.0. See it? I do. Yep. So go there. If you don't have 3.5 yet, there's a reason. <laughs> <screen, laughs> With the shirt half off, as always. <laughs> if, uh, if you don't see 3.5.0, then um, okay. make sure you update it from the app or Play Store, and you should be able to get that. Once you update it, go to the very bottom. There's a thing called Wholesale Integration. Flip that toggle and sell back your book to on and shovel your books to Bill. So why don't you tell us just a little bit about uh, kind of the where this kind of came from for you. So you guys, you're, you're newer on the team. Right. I joined a little in, bit of that. I joined in February of this year and with the sole intention of starting the bulk buyback program so that we could have a B2B uh, presence with sellers like, you know, people that we know on Facebook and everything and uh, help them buy books that they cannot use. And... Uh, so far so good. So far so good. So far so great. So great. Yes. So you guys are you guys are crushing your goals over there. Um, for those of you who do bulk, imagine getting bulk books but only pre-scan bulk books. And uh, that's essentially what we're looking at. Did you zoom in? Yeah. Uh, it's like on my face. For a second, so it's, okay, yeah. we're good. Anyway, imagine we're imagine getting bulk books but instead yeah. of going through them and uh, you know trying to figure out which ones are going to be worth it, taking 10% and dumping the rest. These guys are essentially pre-scanning everything thanks to us. But it's not about them, it's about us, it's about you, and the benefit that they're offering really, probably really two main groups of people, we can kind of get into a third, but one is the bulk sellers, that's right. kind of what you were brought in to do. Right. We're in a market right now, I don't know what it is in Chicago, is, oh. is it negative right now? Recycling is at least zero, um, it's nothing like it was. I mean, I've been around enough where I've seen the market, it's a commodity, so it goes up and down, and I've been around long enough to see it uh, probably three times now, now hit zero or negative, and that's just one of those things. But yeah, it's, it's bad everywhere, especially East Coast, uh, but West Coast, and then, yeah, even by us, so everywhere. How long does it stay depressed or down? I would say at least till next November, for, and really no matter what happens, just because it's cyclical, and that's kind of like yeah, a About a year or two is mm. kind of the bottom of the trough, and then maybe it'll go back up. Right. So we're in an area right now, if you do bulk books, uh, normally you could take all the books in, you might pay eight cents a pound, and you might be able to get four or five cents a pound for recycling, meaning you could pull off the 10%, 15% for Amazon, maybe a little bit for eBay or Merchant Fulfilled or in your, your own bookstore. You could dump the rest of the material, a truck would literally show up, they'd write you a check, take your books, and you could then fill your warehouse with more books. The downside right now is the market's not just flat, it's negative in a lot of cases, so now you have to pay somebody. So your cost of goods has gone down. You might be paying five, six, seven cents a pound for material, but now you're having to pay a penny or two a pound to get rid of it. And so it's kind of in a rough spot and uh, kind of the sweet spot that Sell Back Your Book has done. And they've been around since 2007. So 12 years, mm -hmm. coming up on Lucky 13. And they're primarily a buyback company. So you've seen them out there before. If you go to Book Scouter, they're actually, at least according to our data, the number one vendor on Book Scouter. You guys could probably Definitely. confirm nor deny. All right, number one. Number one book buyer on Bookscouter. So primarily textbooks, but then you've kind of really 
realize there's a there's a bigger niche out there. Right. There's a, a lot of these lower end books that a bulk seller is going to throw away. Most of you, if you sell bulk, and uh, I know a lot of you, kind of this newer bulk player is doing FBA only. So if it's merchant fulfilled, you're not even bothering. You're going, hey, I can make 50 cents merchant fulfilled, not worth my time. You're going to throw it in the in the dud pile, and um, that's where Bill's going to step up and say, hey, before you throw it there and pay someone to come get it, we'll give you 15 cents. We'll give you 22 cents. We'll give you something for it. And uh, what's a typical yield? So normally if you're FBA, you're right. taking maybe you know 8 to 10%. We see about five to eight is the average seller, but yeah, ten percent is a yeah, good. Yeah, five to ten percent. Let's mm -hmm. say rough numbers. Mm -hmm. And then what are you guys taking on the top of that? An additional uh, ten to twelve, even fifteen percent in some instances. So. Yeah. So you're going from five to eight percent yield right. to eighteen 20. to twenty, a little over percent yield. Mm -hmm. And Maybe so twenty five. Instead of paying somebody to come get it, right? You guys are literally sending a truck, taking a Gaylord or a pallet of books, mm -hmm. and paying cash. Correct. Yep. Sweet. No cost to our software. No commitment, uh, no minimums other than a Gaylord-ish uh, a month, and uh, no cost, like I said, to the software. Um, we just try to pay you, give you money for stuff you can't use. So yeah. it's a win. It's truly a win-win. I mean, you guys win because you're using books you can't use. We win because we can sell them to people that can make money, and uh, just along the way, books go to the homes where uh, they're meant to be. Perfect. So we're, we're rescuing books, keeping them out of the landfills, making sure they're not getting recycled. Nice social and econo an ec yeah. economic impact. Yeah. But again, the idea is, like... Sure, you could try and sell them yourself and try and figure out eBay or try and ramp up your production and get really good shipping rates for Merchant Fulfilled. Or these guys already have the economy of scale. They're going to give you the opportunity to say, look, my business is FBA. I'm going to sell as much as I can here. And then I can make a little spread off everything else and then recycle the rest and move on. You coined a good name, uh, Duds to Studs, which is uh, it, but I mean, I can get this. So we, we did a YouTube yeah. video. Through, how long ago was this? Uh, July at Turn the Page. So we did a turn the page video and we talked about turning Reezy went live with it August 8th or so and by August yes, we were on another couch. Yes. In yes, Chicago. Yes. Yeah. We have history being on couches together. We do. We do. So we were in Chicago at an Airbnb mm -hmm. probably 2 in the morning. No, at least, at least maybe yeah. 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did a video and we kind of threw out this phrase duds to studs and like Bill's taking your duds turning them into studs ha ha ha. <laughs> Within 2 days somebody bought that domain. So whoever you are, what we have the name no we? we do. We won't out them. It's a female yeah, that's okay. Whatever the it's either or whichever lady you are <laughs> that bought it, kudos. Mm -hmm. Bill will buy it for at least seven dollars, maybe eight, teen, eighty, yeah. eighty dollars, yeah. eighty dollars. You heard it here. But uh, you know, trash to cash was one I was tossing around. We've got some other uh, taglines: junk to hunk, yeah, wrong to swan song. Little wordy, but yeah, yeah, it still rhymes. No to dough, turn your no to dough. Boring to scoring, yeah. Eh? Jive to alive or jive to thrive or thrive alive. Oh no to hello. <laughs> uh, from bank to blank. Or, uh, no, no, oh, 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 blank, oh, oh, blank to bank. bank. Oh boy. That's not my own bit here. Uh, from nay to way. Like nay, you know. Uh, way like yes way or like like they weigh because they're. Could be like a horse weights. nay. They have weights. I don't know. Nay. <laughs> could be. Uh, from socket to rocket. Like rocket. Ooh. And then uh, a little, I'll leave you with one. I'll leave them laughing. From uh, phlegm to gem. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like it. So, That's all I got. But if you have more, send them in. We'd love to hear Yeah, them. give us your taglines. Mm -hmm. So, Duds to Studs, TM. That's still the best one. TM, Hands trademarked. Down. Hands down. Although the website's gone. So None of these the, domains will be bought. No, probably not. <laughs> no. no. From no to hello. Yeah, that could work. Maybe. All right. Mm. Enough of us yeah. making phrases. <laughs> Matthew's just shaking his head over here. But we wanted to have Bill out. He was gracious enough to fly out. We had uh, a small dinner last night with a couple... Denver eight, people. Eight people. We had, yeah, we had yeah. Uh, somebody Nine from Missouri, together. Chicago, Nashville, and a couple local Coloradans. Mm -hmm. So we had, uh, we had a good showing. If you guys came out last night, that was awesome. We appreciate you. And uh, we want to take some questions. So if you guys have questions, we're doing this live on YouTube right now, as well as on Facebook. Drop us your questions. Let us know what you have. Again, if you don't have version 3.5.0 of Scout IQ, we're the only app with Sell Back Your Book data. In it. Yep. I just saw Ben Miller. That's a good one. That's a good hey, one. I like it. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, the tree cookie says use for cookie for demonstration purposes. So do your hand. <laughs> I, it's, a, it's I tell her I need to reach out to her because we want to do some. Uh, we want to do a celebration this month. So yep. pecan street cookies, message me. I'll hit you up on Instagram. Um, they made these amazing cookies. If you guys don't follow pecan street cookies, pecan street, however you say it, pecan street cookies on Instagram, they make some of the most amazing cookies I've ever seen. They actually did an app 
one, they did our logo, which looked way better than this because you could eat it. <laughs> Two, they had a phone, like a cookie the size of my hand, that was a phone that actually had like a barcode on it and like the Scout IQ layout. It was unreal and delicious, but I kept one, but we need to put it on the wall. Uh, at some point, it'll get eaten by mice probably. But uh, anyway, reach out to me on Instagram. We've got a little project we want you to work on. So thanks for reaching out. So Hammy Whammy says, what does sell back your book do with a bunch of FBA duds? A bunch of FBA duds. So duds would be duds for normal people. What do you guys... Why All right, so the books you're buying, what do you... Oh, what do we do with them? Yeah, so uh, the focus of the off of the bulk project is our, uh, is offline. And uh, inevitably, we'll over forecast and have to buy some stuff and sell it as like a loss leader or whatever. But uh, primarily, it's uh, to our bulk uh, partner. So we have bookstores and uh, places like that that we um, sell books to. So, so in bulk. So a lot of bookstores, like fiction sells really well in bookstores, physical stores for mm -hmm. two, three, four dollars. You guys can, you know, drop the price on that, give a fair price to somebody else. It's easier for them to buy 30 copies from us than it is to buy 30 individual copies from 30 individual sellers, tracking sure. that, uh, shipping and nightmare of all that. So they yeah. know what they're getting with us. We're a trusted vendor with that. Um, it works. So power Perfect. in bulk. Power in bulk. Mm -hmm. Especially right. uh, shipping wise, if you're right. ship, you know, shipping a galer to books, a thousand books at a time. You get really crazy rates per book versus an individual book Correct. that'll cost you a couple dollars. Brian Campbell says, will the DVDs, CDs, and video games buyback have to be an app update or can sub back your book just turn on the functionality? Uh, we're going to do an app update. We, uh, we didn't ask the question first. We were so excited to do the app integration, we figured it was books. Because their website, as you noticed, says sell back your book. Only one at a time. Only one. Doesn't say CD, doesn't say DVD, doesn't say... Do you guys do records? Not yet. All right, so you said your best yield, so coming soon. Uh, do you guys do phones? No. You're not getting into that? Maybe. Not, not yet. Sell back your iPhone. <laughs> um, you said DVDs is probably the highest yeah. yield category? I would say, yeah. yeah. Then books? Correct. Then CD? Correct. So for those of you that do mixed media, or for those of you at library sales, if you have a, a fill a bag sale, I got a Michigan accent bag sale, <laughs> but if you can fill that for like $3 and fit you know, 80 CDs into it, and you're gated, Send them your CDs and DVDs. Making money, making money, making money. Uh, again, we're just, as, as our company, our goal is to serve our customers and make sure that you have as many options as you can to, uh, to make some money with whatever you're doing. Like, that's our goal. We don't care if you sell on Amazon. We don't care if you sell on eBay. We don't care if you sell to sell back your book, although that's cool because they're good guys. I kind of care. And gals, they're trustworthy. Yeah. And should, uh, so that, that's what we wanted to do. We saw several of you were actually hooking up some crazy emulator setups on mm -hmm. your computers. Mm -hmm. You'd have Scout IQ there running pretty slowly depending on your computer. Um, you'd have Sell Back Your Books, kind of they did their desktop software. And uh, Bill's been sponsoring our Turn the Page events. And I was like, Bill, everybody's kind of doing this kind of hack job, duct tape deal where they're trying to get data. Can't we just work your data into our app? And he goes, I never thought you'd ask. <laughs> and here we are. So did. <laughs> uh, yeah. he knew he knew I would ask, and uh, yeah, so he's been playing that long game, and that's been pretty sweet. Yep, and that's a great partner. There is um, no better partner than Caleb and his team, and uh, Matthew, of course, and everybody else involved. And we got to meet Cole last night, and uh, it's just a win-win. I mean, you know, it's great integration, and you guys are the right the right partner for that for sure. Sweet. So, well, it's, uh, it's we're a excited. Match, we're match, so excited. Match made in book heaven. You can think of us as like another marketplace almost. I mean, you know, your books can just instantly sell, and with the turnaround times with Amazon. Uh, if you list a book today, and if you're an FBA seller, it takes two or three days to get to the FC. Well, maybe two or three days to fill that box, depending on your level. Then two or three days to get to the FC. Fulfillment center. Fulfillment center. Then a day or two or three to get received. And then if it sells right away on the edge of when you're going to get paid, then sure, you get paid within whatever, the week payout. But like if you're on that cusp of you just and missed the cycle. Usually it's every other week. Uh-huh. It could be another two weeks on top of that. So you're talking three to four week lead time on a book that sold the day or two it landed. Okay. Or you sell it to us, and you could get literally within a week's turnaround time, and usually sooner. So, Yeah, so really, we kind of identified three groups of people. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of explain who can really benefit from this. Again, version 3.5.0, go to settings, turn on the wholesale integration. When you scan on the regular scouting page, you'll see a little green box show up that says sell back your book. We're working on adding CDs and DVDs, so that'll work. Uh, should be this week, pending App Store review as well as we're adding an uh, audio tone. So for those of you that don't like to look at your screen while scouting, we're gonna have an audio signal. If your triggers say reject, and the sell back your book price is higher than your buy cost, you'll hear a little ding. For our, bulk, our current bulk sellers, it's the same sounds we integrated. Yep. So, so that sweet, sweet sound seamless. that you're used to, mm -hmm. you're gonna hear it on the phone. So that uh, those two enhancements will be coming out this week. 
but really the three groups of people. And then if you guys have others, comment below. We're still trying to figure out who exactly can benefit. The first is going to be bulk players. You're buying a thousand books at a time, forty thousand books at a time. You can move five to eight to ten percent on Amazon FBA. That's your bread and butter. You're only going to list stuff that you can profit ninety cents, a buck, buck and a quarter, whatever your cutoff is. And now you're able to take, and instead of throwing away 90 to 92% of your books, they're going to take an extra 10 to 15 to 20%. So that's the first group is bulk sellers. The second group that can benefit is exactly what Bill was talking about. There's a lot of uh, like popular fiction books, for example, like this is marketing Seth Godin. If you sold that yourself, you might make $4 eventually. Again, you got about a week lead time until it's ready to be sold. Maybe it sells right away. You got to wait a week or two for the payout. So you got $4 coming to you four weeks from now, let's mm -hmm. call it. Or, I don't know exactly, we'd have to pull it up, but they might be paying $3 for that book. So instead of waiting and making an extra buck, many of you, it's nicer to have cash now, and you're able to just put that back into your business immediately. Bird in hand, as they say. Yeah, it's worth two in the bush. Mm -hmm. Travis was saying bushel. I think right. it's, it's bush. It is bush. Definitely bush. bush. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's the second group. So one is bulk. Two is people that just want quick cash flow. And if you didn't even want to sell on Amazon, this may be an option. There's certainly books that you're going to make a lot more on Amazon, and you should. Um, although, depending on your case, some of you might just want the quick cash. The third group, and this is hit or miss, is restricted books. Right. So there are some restricted textbooks out there, um, and Amazon keeps changing what that what that is. Um, tell Back Your Book does try and stay away from a lot of those. So you'll see a $50 book that you can't sell, and they're offering zero. A lot of times they might be offering 20 to you know 15 to 20 bucks on that book. And you could, you know, normally you could maybe try and sell it on eBay, or if you don't even want to go through the hassle, they could take that. And again, if they're not taking it, tap the Book Scouter link in the app. Maybe another buyback company will take it. Or, uh, you know. Or, since he's here, restrictedinventory.com, Avery will uh, sell stuff for you on consignment, split it 50 50. What up, y'all? There he is. He was just waiting for us to say his name. <laughs> Are you heading no, out? Insane. I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to go to David's warehouse. All right, Avery's going to go get a tour of a bulk seller's warehouse. Make sure Restrictedinventory.com, baby. Make sure you pitch, sell back your book to, to David. Thank you. All right. Um, so those are kind of the three groups, bulk players, cash flow, dependent, and maybe some restricted books. Any uh, other groups that you guys have really honed in on? Uh, so, I mean, if you have a book that you know will sell, let's say, X amount of time, uh, well, let's say once a month, and you have 10 of them, well, you have your ample supply for, you want to keep, let's say, three months of stock on hand, you can then, uh, you know, hedge your bet and send in a couple of us. So, something like that. Now, question. It'd be like stock that you have too much of, or condition-wise. So, say you're really particular about a book uh, quality, maybe you don't want to touch X library books or books with highlighting, writing, underlining, no dust jacket, send them on in, send them our way, we take them all. Okay, we'll come back to the condition in sure. a moment. Mm -hmm. All right, I've got 10 books, <clears throat> and maybe the e-score is three, so it mm -hmm. doesn't sell that much. I want to send two to Amazon, but I have the other ones, and I'm like, how do I make some money? If I send them to you, are you going to sell them FBA? No. Do you guys sell any FBA? No. Zero. All right, so you're not going to pollute your own stream, right? right? Good point. So that's that's always a question mm -hmm. with buyback companies is, are they going to sell FBA right. and just compete with me? Right. So if you send them to sell back your book, 0%, 0.0% go FBA. So you will not be competing with the same channel. Now, will we see these show up Merchant Fulfilled? Maybe. Will we see them on eBay, offline, bookstores? Who knows? But you can get some guaranteed cash. All right, let's talk some of the questions we've been getting. Um, you got a bulk program as well, and Matthew will have some questions as well, yeah? Yeah, we have a lot. All right, so we'll, we'll get to those in just a second. You touched on condition. Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. So uh, what kind of condition will you take, and what kind of books will you not take? Good or better, uh, really, unless it's falling apart or water damaged. Okay. Um, anything else, if it says accept, send it on in. So. Missing a dust jacket? Fine. Go ahead, send it in. Send it on in. Library books? Send it on in. All right. Uh, send it on in. Any book. I mean, as long as we have an offer for All right, it. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Tricky. So that's pretty good. So no water damage and like excessive writing or just falling apart. Basically, if you wouldn't want to read it, don't mm -hmm. send it in. But yeah. nearly anything else, go yeah, ahead. I mean, some underlining, fine. Some writing, fine. Some highlighting, fine. You know, you, whatever. Yeah, yeah, cool. Test us. So we have a very liberal, you know, if we reject the book, we send it back. I mean, you know, it's like we're not out to take the books and not pay people. No. And uh, you, not to take advantage, but if you do send one bad book, they're probably still going to pay you, especially yeah. if it's a 20 cent book. Right. It's not worth that's the time not the, and energy to anger someone. Yeah, it's not the game you guys are playing. No. No. Okay. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. What about, there's a bulk program that you have. So you've got mm -hmm. like a, a web-based software that listens in the background. Correct. What about bulk players if they want to use Scout IQ? Uh, well, they, that's a very good point. So 
right now, uh, I know it's I kind say, of a gray area. Yeah. But. So because it's such a new, we wanted to get you know started and and get everything going and be first to market with all that with you guys. Um, right now, I'd say the best practice would be use your if you want to use your phone. If if you want to keep our current setup, nothing changes. You use it uh, with the emulator or uh, visor, and then our listening tool, and you know the double, single scan gets double result. Nothing changes. However, if you want to use your cell phone now with Scott IQ. I would say do not hit the add to cart button because that will actually prohibit you from sending that item in again in the future. That add to cart button essentially is for our consumer side and will limit them to one per lifetime. Uh, and that is something that we have to stick with, unfortunately. Um, so if you don't hit the add to cart button, and then I guess we're going to go through the scan it in the bulk scanner, right? Yep, that's so, kind of what we talked about. Okay, so we're going to have it, uh, then you take those books, put them on the side, and then uh, run them through our bulk scan tool at that point. Essentially, you're going to have 100% accept rate on those, and that's great, but that way we can forecast and, and know what's coming in. So, so the pricing on Scout IQ, mm -hmm. consumer side, for sell back your book, and mm -hmm. the pricing on bulk matches. Correct. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are bulk and you're sending in more than, let's say, half a pallet at a time, mm -hmm. or you want to send in multiples mm -hmm. over time, right. then make sure you're, you can still scout with Scout IQ. You can see the price right front and center. That price loads nearly instantaneously. doesn't matter if you're in database mode or live. It does a live lookup real quick just for their data, so you're not waiting for all of Amazon's data to come back. It's almost as fast as you can scan. That price will match what's on the bulk tool. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use it in the app and you want to send a box or two, simply add to, to cart. We'll actually show a video. We'll put one on YouTube probably, probably today, maybe tomorrow. But we'll do a video that actually shows the whole process from scanning, adding to cart, printing a label, and uh, we'll actually just send it back home with Bill. But normally you'd ship it because he can't be everywhere. At once. I'm trying. I'm trying. Maybe he I'm can. Trying. Lately, I have to be, but. Okay, so consumer side, mm -hmm. no duplicates, right. less than a half pallet, use the app, add to cart, close your batches, print your label, ship it off, get your check within a week, give or take. But once they check it in. Um, the other option is if you're bulk, if you're doing more than half a pallet at a time, um, you're going to be using LTL shipping and maybe you want to send duplicates, make sure you get approved first. Right. So yeah, the LTL, uh, the bulk program comes through me. So you can reach out on Facebook, uh, my email, my cell phone, uh, post in the group, say, hey, Bill, contact me. I'm everywhere. I, I mean, I literally am up, you know, five, six in the morning, up till midnight at night and... Uh, Doesn't sleep. Eh, try not much. To, much. But uh, everybody knows that uses us. I'm really accessible and pride myself on that because I was a former owner, a former seller, just like you for the last 19 years. And That's it. Yeah, I get it. It always irked me when I didn't feel valued and when I didn't, when my question was left hanging, even, you know, for a few hours or overnight for the next day. So I try to be, you know, if I don't know, I'll tell you and then we'll figure it out. But, um, perfect. Yeah. We try to, you know, nail it down as quick as we can with everything. So reach out to me. Make sure you get approved first. We'll get you there approved. is a, you can reach out to him. If you guys want to show us a little love, Yes. go also. to scoutiq.co slash bulk b-u-l-k if you're watching this video right now that is the way you need to reach out because uh in fact i won't even answer he'll ignore I'll you direct you to go to that link so that you know all this could be worthwhile for these guys because they work very hard and they need to uh capture your information and then pass along to me and perfect and do the things they need to do so, so. scoutiq.co slash bulk if you're not already signed up I, what, I, I, could you want I, scout iq dot co slash b-u-l-k okay cool thank perfect. you perfect beautiful okay I feel like I can't do the raking.com. It's dot .co. Dot .co. <laughs> but uh, I digress. All right. Matthew's got a bunch of questions. We're going to field questions for maybe six hours, seven hours. I'm up for it. We'll throw yeah. you on a plane and head back. Sure. All right. Yeah. And not in the cargo section this time? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> you get an upgrade. So, there's a ton of variation to this question, but is the price locked in? How long is it locked in for? And is it different between consumer and bulk? The prices are the same if you're a consumer or bulk. Uh, if you are pricing on the consumer side, it logs for like, it holds for like a week ish. Ish. Yeah. Uh, the worker on that is to kind of, if you're, if you know, you can't fill a box and add a book every couple days ish to keep it like active. But at some point, minimum right, payout on a box, seven fifty. Seven fifty. So seven dollars, 50 cents. Again, it's not that hard. A lot of books will be two, three, four, five dollars. Textbooks be. could be 20, 30, 50. Right. What's the highest you'll pay on a book? I mean, I don't Do you know. Guys have a cap? I have not seen one. I think it's two twenty-five. Don't hold me to it. Two hundred twenty-five dollars. I think we've, I think we've checked your data. That's madness. We checked your data. That's madness. What book um, is that? I'll have to look it up. Margin of safety, maybe. Probably. Okay. But uh, yeah. yeah. So that's that's your that's the top. So, uh, but yeah, the automated system will kind of hassle you a little bit and kind of nudge you along to say, hey, did you forget about us? Send it on in. 
Um, but that's the, the consumer side. If you're on the bulk side, we typically want an order about every four weeks, five weeks or so. Um, and again, it's like, you know, about a palace worth at a time. We have people ship us eight at a time, uh, you know, just each their own. Uh, we always want to be respectful of your space and not be a burden on your resources because your space is valuable. So I, I pretty much am very flexible with everyone. Everyone has their own needs and there's no like written rules in stone. Whatever suits you is fine with me. Cool. And so. Matthew and I used, if you guys check out on Matthew Osborne's YouTube channel, he needs a name. <laughs> what was your name going to be? Matthew Osborne. No, no, no. You had like a like a bacon books. Bacon books. You bacon? heard it here first. Bacon. Hmm. Everybody loves bacon. Everybody loves reading. So bacon books. Uh, Matthew Osborne on uh, YouTube, and then also the Book Flipper community. There's a video that we did of a Springfield haul uh, last week, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. We were able to go through a collection of about a hundred thousand books. We put this data to the test. We kind of had a, a little mm -hmm. beta in the backgrounds. We were able to scan the books and actually set aside hundred. I forget how many books it was. To us? Yeah, how many books did we 496? 496. 86, 96. 86, so we sent almost 500 books to them. Mm -hmm. We got a little over 100 and, I think it was $116 and change, mm -hmm. which was great. Literally free money for us. They sent a truck, backed it up. We threw a pallet that they had at the bookstore already. Took what, like five minutes? Wrap threw up. a pallet, mm -hmm. threw 15, 20, whatever, 25 boxes on it, wrapped it up, and we were done. 20. So that was a way for us to help clear some duds out turn our duds into studs, which was great. We paid for your gas, basically. Yeah. You know, paid for your commute. It was I nice. read on the Facebook the other day, uh, paid for somebody's lunch. Like, okay, you're welcome. Hope you got a good one. Yeah, get so. a good one. What other yeah. questions do we have, Matt? What we got? This isn't a question, but Hayden. Hayden says, Hey, Hayden. literally switched his guys over to this as you guys were talking. He said it's a game changer. It's a career changer. It really is. It's going to be super quick. Uh, we love the emulators, and it was a great uh, next step. But, I mean, the... Pinnacle is this and, right here. And in the like, if you're in the store, like if you're a bulk setup, you can kind of set up a laptop. It's not that hard in your warehouse or your uh, storage unit. If you're out in the store, it's a little weird to walk around with a <laughs> laptop and start scanning books. So it kind of brings the data to where you are, mm -hmm. um, which, is, for, which has been nice. But yeah, for bag sales or people with free pickups or people uh, that just have a very low cost of books, this is a total game changer. Yep. I mean, they get can the, just get something, money. something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone else says bacon book smells delicious. It does. You can already smell the bacon, even mm -hmm. though there's there's no smell. Junkman says, not completely certain about how long the valid offer actually stays valid for. Thank you. I think that was the same thing. So okay. Okay. roughly okay. consumer side, about a week, you week should be sending something in. On the bulk side, you should be mm -hmm. sending it within a month-ish. But the price... Five to six weeks. The price does stay, lo does stay locked in. Perfect. So, for the bulk people. I mean, we want it within four to five weeks, but... Again, as you onboard, everybody's at their own pace. We had people that have taken two months ish to start. It's not our dream customer, but on the other hand, I'm super flexible. Anybody again that works with me knows that, like, I will do what I can to make you grow. That's why I joined over here because I was really sick of, um, just you know, I, I I found the most joy in helping people and helping other sellers, and this is the best mix of both those worlds. I get to help Glenn grow his business. I get to grow help other people grow their businesses. I get to help other offline businesses grow their businesses by getting better stock and uh, cheaper cheaper stuff and uh, it's just it's a win-win all around yeah we, we actually talked about this a little bit last night I got to hear more of Bill's story and it's a good one I still think you should write a book not just flip them but uh, cool story he's got he's one of the original oh geez original gangster gangsta he's, he's one of the original, the original he's one of the OGs in the uh, book flipping space I look so terrible trying to <laughs> say that phrase so forget that we but lots of our viewers yeah, <laughs> everybody, everybody quit. But uh, he's been around for a long time. Built just 19 a, years. Just a really cool business. Done some really unique things. And this to him, like he, I don't know, like he got stressed out last year to the point where he realized he had to just stop doing what he was doing. And he was looking for a career change. Was able to, to team up with Glenn. Midlife or just, you know, time for a change. And sometimes like you just need a new challenge. And uh, this is the perfect, the perfect meld of all that. To take my experience and knowledge in an industry I love and yet put it to, puts a new spin on it and uh, creating, still get to create and still take ownership of stuff. Yeah. And it's kind of like a business within a business. And uh, that's what, you know, we look at it as and it's been going pretty well in, so far. In the, like the reason that like Matthew and I do social media, one, it gets the word out. We can share our products, our spreadsheets, our software. That's really cool. But it's also, I, the reason I started the blog was because being an entrepreneur is lonely. People think you just sit around at home and eat Cheetos and watch Netflix which is true, I'll call you, don't worry, which is true, but there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. I work way more hours now than I did when I worked for Johnson & Johnson. 
and the freedom's there. There's a lot less stress. Like it's amazing. I love being an entrepreneur. Uh, I find a lot of identity in that. Maybe there's some issues there, but uh, we'll get into that some other time. <laughs> um, but being like this, this business is lonely, and the fact that we have social media, and a lot of you come out to turn the page events. We do some meetups. We'll be doing a meetup here in Denver tonight, 5:30 p.m. Torchy's Tacos over on Arapahoe Road, just west of 25. Come on out, 5:30. Uh, dinner's on us. So if you're in the area, look us up. Phil's here. I'm coming Phil's out. Tacos. I was 50-50, but now it's and on it's, you. It's Taco Tuesday, and LeBron is trying to trademark that phrase. So. I don't know if I've ever told you this. I love tacos. You love tacos. I love I've tacos. heard that once or twice. <laughs> so if you guys are in Denver, look us up. Torchy's Tacos, Arapahoe Road, uh, 5.30 p.m. Local time. Mountain time. But uh, being an entrepreneur is lonely. Getting a chance to meet you guys in person is awesome. It's really a blessing in this business. Kind of keeps things interesting. We get to learn from you. Hopefully you're learning from us. And that's, that's been really what Bill has been stepping into and being a, a resource in the community. And that's the thing, anyone on the bulk side, you know, they have me as a resource. They have my cell phone, my personal cell phone, and uh, they can text me day or night. I don't even give my cell phone out. Well, what, what do I have? A, a, what do I have? I just put it in the comments. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. Uh, but I, gave a, I gave a guy my Google voice <laughs> number the other day. He was trying to call and it goes right to voicemail. <laughs> He's like, you never answer me. And I'm like, it's not my real phone number. Don't take it personally. But uh, I've helped people negotiate some stuff, I've helped them source some stuff, I've helped them kind of work some problems out with this or that, and through no benefit for Sell Back Your Book or me, but I feel that if I can make you a better seller, then ultimately you're gonna process more and go through more, and then all roads of books leads to me that way. So if I can make you a better person, a better seller, a better entrepreneur, that's cool, that's great. That's you know a pat on my back and a feather in my cap, but Ultimately, yeah, you know, well, it we, will lead back to us. We talk about this a lot. We're actually trying to kind of build, it sounds so corporate, but we're trying to build like our corporate values, our company mm -hmm. values. And the one that keeps coming to the top of the list is play the long game. Yeah. We're in this for the long game. We're not just trying to make money right. today and take shortcuts to get there and then we're in and out. We're here for a long time. We want all of you to be successful. And a lot of you, it's been fun. Like we're, we haven't been around 19 years, but we've seen people come and go. We've seen people quit and come back. We've seen them graduate to other mm -hmm. categories of e-commerce or other business ventures. And uh, just being able to network and meet, that's been really cool. So the long game, take care of people. It's the right thing to do. Yeah. And ultimately it benefits you as well. It is the right thing yeah. for you, Right. but it's, it's just a good way to play bus the business game. Correct. Other questions? A bunch of statements very similar saying things along the lines of Bill is the best, confirm Bill never sleeps, super responsive, <laughs> a bunch of other stuff like that. Thank you. Um, it's true. Who's this Bill guy? <laughs> Bill. Oh, he seems great. Oh, oh he seems great. Thank William. you all. Yeah, William. 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 Yes. William. William. Ben Miller says, what's going on when we scan one item that you buy in the bulk mode, mm -hmm. then you scan another and you don't accept it, do you have quotas and certain titles? Yes, correct. So that would be one that we're whittling down where, uh, say we needed... 20 and we're at that point where you know we're right on we're the edge right on the edge so uh the whole thing is a forecast game and you know it's just we need to one and that's it so and we talk about this a lot as well we talk about selling books as a portfolio you're going to buy a ton of books and 80 85 percent of them will sell kind of the same thing for you guys right yep. not oh, yeah. everything's going to sell right but it's a numbers game if a certain percent sell it works out yep so again that's why the pricing doesn't change as much on the bulk side they're not going to take ten thousand of you know random books maybe a couple books but most books are not going to take a ton they're trying to make sure they limit their risk as well kimberly brown says what if you have a duplicate in another shipment will it be rejected on the consumer side i'm guessing that's what she's doing. likely Probably. likely yeah so and you'll mm -hmm. see um if you actually try and add it to cart and scout iq it'll actually turn red if it's if you're restricted or blocked from it. it'll say sorry we're not accepting any more of these yep and that'll let you know. So again, if you're adding to cart, and we'll have a video out probably today or tomorrow that shows how to build that shipment for those of you that can't quite connect the dots with my fake hand phone here. Yeah, yeah and for sure it will reject it at some point. So like we just will process it and then it'll flag your account and then they'll get the automated email to say, yep, he's already sent us this. So, and we- uh, Just pissed, don't yeah. do it again. We, we highly discourage that, please don't do that, please. <laughs> So there's another okay. question. Does sell back your book, buy many books that have no barcode or even no ISBN, is it worth doing basically? So uh, no barcode, yes. That's the type ins, the punch ins. Yep, all or OCR and Scout IQ. Correct. Makes all, it faster. All day long, uh, tons of those. As for uh, pre-ISBN, pre-1970, like Library of, Congress, Library of Congress, no, no way to do it. Don't do it. Um, I mean, we're not, you know, I wouldn't say never, but right now we have no interest in that. Okay. So. I saw somebody here says waiting in the UK. We talked about this. In the UK. We talked about this in dinner. 
the other night. Never so know. UK, Canada, Scout IQ is beta testing soon. Be on the lookout for some emails if you haven't signed up yet. ScoutIQ.co slash countries, plural, C-O-U-N-T-R-I-E-S. Test my spelling. ScoutIQ.co slash countries. Sign up there. Let us know what country. Uh, UK and Canada are going to be first up on our global expansion lists. Um, maybe. Sell back your book? Maybe. We're going to get a definite maybe. It's hard to promise things, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, it's on our radar. Yeah. So There's enough of you asking, so keep asking, keep knocking. Maybe someday Sell Back Your Book will open their door. We are the only bulk seller that can buy from Canada uh, via pallets. I think there might be one that does like via like box by box, uh, but um, I've been networking and branching out with people up there and hello and uh really trying to focus on that as well and uh, it's been going perfect is canada actually a country yes. i think we just talk about this figurative land of yes. north yes yes no, it's it actually is. there there's You've really people. actually gotten books from there i've been there yeah no we wow. had two gaylords and they shipped the boxes had the uh, maple leaf flag on did it. the mounted awesome. canadian mounted Nothing royal else. police no. take it across the border on no. their horses i don't know how that works but <laughs> we did it so all right so if you're in canada and you can ship pallets mm -hmm. These guys will shovel them in. So yes. that's another way to monetize books mm -hmm. in a different market even. Right. Which is cool. Correct. Other questions? So another question. I think this user might have the longest YouTube username I've ever seen. Let's it's hear sticks it. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will control you. That's wow. the entire username. I feel very <laughs> enlightened just by listening to that. Uh, is should it we words will control you or the letter U? Did they run out? <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay. It's you. Okay. Wow. Okay. Words that long. So Good deal. should we separate the higher price books from the Gaylord? Or is, I'm guessing they mean do you mix all of them together? So if you have a twenty dollar book with twenty cent books, throw them all together. Yeah, no everything. problem. No, yeah, scan and toss. Cool. Yeah. No. We or find mail the it to us here in Denver. We'll take <laughs> it. It's fine. We find the Gaylords are easiest easiest uh, for people to uh, you know use, but we happily will take them on boxes on pallets as well, about four feet tall, you know, shoulder shoulder height, uh, whatever you want to do. So and there's no uh, weight limits on our boxes. We're not like Amazon where we're gonna ding you for <laughs> a seventy pound box or whatever. Please check um, here to confirm that right. your box is overweight. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. yes. So you guys don't have to worry about it. You don't we, sell FBA. Right. Yeah, but I'm, well, I mean, but that keeps me up at night. Rules. I worry that my scale is going to become uncalibrated, yeah. and uh, I'm just going to get slapped on the wrist over and over from Bezos. <laughs> it's, a, it's a recurring nightmare. Nightmares I don't have to ever live again. <laughs> no. So another good question here: uh, Is it okay to create your own pallet out of multiple boxes stacked and wrapped, or does it have to be Gaylord? No, that's fine. No, pallets are great. Yeah, I thought they meant make their own pallet, like the wooden part, like literally. Which, yeah, yeah. Put some popsicle sticks together, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> toothpicks and all sorts of stuff. Here's a couple twigs. And, yeah, uh, but I mean, if you're so inclined, sure, make your own pallet part too. Uh, <laughs> we happily encourage that. Uh, and I'm a creative guy, and I happily applaud uh, like a creative use for our tool. So if you have some type of idea. Throw it at me. Uh, we have a lot of precedences for different unique stuff. Uh, we have people teaming up together. So for instance, like two sellers shipping, shipping us one shipment together, we can do that. Uh, we have people that have different libraries that have signed up. They've signed the libraries up and they use their tool and then they mingle all the stuff together in one shipment. Uh, we can do whatever you want to do. So there's a lot of opportunity out there with our tool, especially with the Scott IQ integration. And uh, it's, try me. Cool. So someone's a question, next meetup in Texas, and someone else says Austin, Texas, let's go. Locations, Texas. turn the page. Texas. Hook them horns, Oklahoma. or uh, as the Oklahoma Sooners do, the upside down <laughs> horns, which the refs have allowed them to do. Hmm. They're not allowed to like do it in their face, okay. but you're allowed to like do the upside, anyway, hmm. well, I digress again. Uh, meetups next year, turn the page. <clears throat> Don't hold us to it, we're thinking Denver, since Denver's great and we're here. Austin, Texas is on the list. We've got a really cool spot. Actually, some of our friends run a software company in Austin, and we've got a great location on the weekend. So check, we're gonna be doing Austin. Somewhere northwest, maybe like a Portland's-ish. Where are you? Oh, we got the, <laughs> we got the hook and horns. We're a little delayed here. Uh, probably northwest, like Portland, and then northeast, like a DC, Baltimore, probably not, that's a gross city. Baltimore, maybe, uh, Boston. No offense if you live there. If you live there, <laughs> anyway. Um, so those are kind of the plans. We've talked about maybe a Canada as well, probably in the summer, or maybe we can go to Banff in the winter and do some skiing. That might get pricey. And then Matthew actually wants to do a cruise, mm -hmm. a bookseller's cruise, where we actually, they have these like free libraries on cruise ships. We're going to try and pay for the cruise with books that we source <laughs> on the ship. So the, coming soon, uh, but he's, we're actually serious. We do want to try and do a, yeah. probably a three to five day cruise, have some speakers out there. If you're interested in that, comment below, say hashtag cruise, not Tom Cruise, like a real cruise. <laughs> Just to let us know cruise, you're interested, and uh, we'll try and gauge some feedback there. 
But uh, it'd be really fun to hang out, be social, get to know some of you a little better, and uh, kind of work on networking and building our book businesses. Penelope? Yeah, that's Penelope another cruise. cruise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Control? Uh, another good question here. Someone said, does it affect your bulk payment if you need a lift gate or special pickup? So the shipping is always on us. We take care of all the logistics on our end. Uh, whether you ship one at a time or ten at a time, although we cap it at eight, uh, or lift gate or no lift gate, that does not affect your payment in any way. So none of those factors do. So, uh, for so us, don't it, let that hold you back. Right. For us, it does, but don't worry about that. We we take care of that, and that's fine. For us, it's just an average. You know, it is what it is. So. I don't know if you can share this, but someone says, "What's the biggest payout you've had from one pallet so far?" One million. Uh, so we've had. It's, in a salvage game, it's you know it, there's always like a range, but we've had have had a few stores that uh, do s- unique things and they're more like one-offs, and it was uh, in the four figures. So nice, four including digits. the decimal points. Uh, yeah, so six if you count <laughs> decimal <laughs> points. So we're talking in the yeah. thousands, right? The thousand, thousand club. One, one thousand. By the way, mm-hmm. instead of talking about sales in millions of dollars, mm-hmm. I want to start changing it to mega dollars. Okay. Why? Just, side note, just it's different. You're like, what are you? I'm a mega dare. Okay. Million? No, I'm a mega nair. Dare? Nair? I don't, anyway. Other questions? I like it. We'll uh, we'll wrap this up in just a minute. We're, uh, we're running I want to hear more about that. We're running out of content. <laughs> uh, pretty much the question is a few book selling related questions, but not exactly so. Hit us. Yeah. Let's we're take here. a couple. So. So I'm going to scroll back up to it real quick. And guys, if you're, uh, if you're on YouTube, check out our Facebook community. It's called the Book Flipper Community. You can find us on Facebook, obviously. But we do lives probably once a month, sometimes twice a month. We try and answer some questions. We just did a survey. If you guys see it, it should be pinned in the group as well. We kind of asked, what do you want to learn more about in your business? We kind of asked, like, scouting, listing, repricing, pricing, uh, scaling, how to know if a book's going to be a dud. I think the number one thing was repricing. Was repricing. So we're going to be doing a, a, a Q&A on repricing coming up. We'll give you some of our, our rules, some of the tools that we use to do it. So be on the lookout for that. Sell back your books. Just trying to get another logo oh. on real quick. I, mean, I got you got to pay for this just for today. Screen so time. I want to make sure that like we get our ROI on it <laughs> quick. Sorry. Uh, so someone said they just started selling books yesterday. Congratulations. Um, that is the hardest part. Let me, uh, just real quick. Congratulations. The hardest part of any business is letting go starting oh yes getting started the starting opposite. so congratulations on starting kudos so it says he doesn't make a profit selling books at six dollars should it only take books ten dollars or higher yeah so if you're using scout iq it actually gives you the estimated payout so we don't really care it used to the game used to be if it's eight dollars or higher go ahead and send it in because you'll make three to four dollars after fees the fees have changed so much that a ten dollar book might net you two it might net you 450 depends on the weight Scout IQ does all the calculations for you. So if you scan a book and it says you can list it for $10, it'll give you the exact estimated payout down to the penny so you know if you can send it in or not. Um, You do want to set some rules. You don't want to list anything that, let's say, you can make 20 cents. You're like, hey, I should send it in. (laughs) Well, one, you're not going to sell all your books. You're going to sell 80 to 85%. Two, sometimes the price drops a little bit. And if you don't have much margin for error, you're going to be hurting. So make sure you value your time. Again, for, for us, I don't really like to touch it unless I can get a dollar fifty to two dollars net payout after everything, just because I, I want to try and value my time. So anything that goes under that, it's perfect candidate, make twenty cents, sometimes a dollar, and it's just it's free money at that point. I don't have to worry about listing it, shipping it, paying storage fees, waiting for it to sell. I just throw it in and those were books before that I would just be like, eh, maybe I can make a buck fifty, it's not worth it, throw them to the side. That's a great candidate for sell back your book. And speaking of the free recall that they just did on, uh, oh, we didn't, we weren't, but okay. Um, <laughs> it's uh, we're uh, we're we past it, and in October. Right, but they had a free book removal. Yeah, but if you are returning, uh, removing books in the future, or they do it again, it's a great opportunity to recoup some of that cost that you have and uh, send it into a program like us. So perfect. Mm-hmm. Other questions? Otherwise, we'll wrap this up. Awesome. John Francis says, Caleb, can you see me? I cannot. <laughs> Close your eyes real quick. Yeah, I can picture you. I see your profile picture <laughs> mm-hmm. right here. Hey, John. Mm-hmm. Someone said, Bill, should I send a half day Lord of Books to you or wait? Uh, I just have them reach out to me directly. So, okay. yeah, it's uh, perfect. You know, it depends if it's their first time, probably. If it's their regular, then no. And your phone number is what? 867 5309? 708 825 7952. Text me. As I'll answer. Jenny's phone number. No, no, I know the song. I, it's my, it's my ringtone. You know that. Um, but uh, no, text me anytime, day or night, and it's no problem. Again, that's 
five two. Five two. And so text me. Card. We'll talk. I'm happy to talk about anything, anytime. Um, the last week has been crazy, so I am a little behind with some of the um, the website scoutiq.co slash bulk um, with those emails. Guys, he's but, a White Sox fan, not a Cubs fan. Just, just to clarify. Correct. Went to uh, three of the four World Series games yeah. back in the day, 2005. There's one more here. If you guys understand this, one. Roberto says, hey, "Broken Roberto. shipments? Question mark. Closing shipments. What's that again? No. He said, "Broken shipments? Question mark or closing shipments? I'm not sure what." Can you elaborate? Uh, yes. <laughs> that doesn't. Sure. It's all the above. All either or. Broken shipments. I uh, I don't know what that means. I mean, our bulk tool closes a shipment, so it keeps a nice line in the sand between shipments. Just a way for us to stay nice and tidy. And pay you properly, and then reset the timer on uh, for our bulk clients that have the ability to send multiple copies of stuff. That helps reset that timer. Uh, so that's what a close shipment does. But if it's the Roberto, I think I, it is. He sent in like five or six shipments now, probably like at least that. So that I'm curious. I don't know. But hello, if it's a new Roberto, Wait, hello. Wait, closing a shipment? Can I add more? No. Uh, no. No. Once that's, you close it, send it. It's the line in the sand, so. Okay. And broken, I don't know what broken means. Yeah, last one. Uh, do I need a credit card or what's required to set up a bulk account? You need a lot of books, and then you need me, and then you need <laughs> the ability it. to put them in something. They don't need your credit card. No, they don't need a credit card. You guys pay PayPal? You might take your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has a big stack of credit cards. He's like literally like two inches thick. But you guys pay out with uh, PayPal? We can do PayPal or check. So uh, some of the nonprofits or thrift stores or organizations that we work with, they require a check just for whatever. Uh, a couple of regular consumer clients uh, in the bulk game prefer a check. Whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. Like I said before, I'm flexible with your needs. I'm the most accommodating person in that sense. I will do what I can to make you happy. Uh, if I, like I said, there's no precedent for it, we'll make one. I don't care. Uh, but yeah, PayPal is our preferred method just because it's easier and instant and uh, Anybody knows we process uh, the stuff within a day or two of it landing and then pay the same day or next. And it all depends on the time of day we finish. So um, my staff gets in typically 5 to 5.30 in the morning, so depending Ooh. on day of week. And like they're, they're wrapping up by 1.30, 2 at the latest. Um, every other Friday they have half days, um, holidays they observe. On Fridays before holidays they have a nice you know, extended weekend, so we take care of our people because they take care of you. But um, anyway, we pay pretty quick. Anybody knows that as well. So sweet. Pick and roll says... Uh, the day of the release, he received his removals from Amazon. Uh, scanned them, put them right back in their mm -hmm. box, and sent them to sell back to your book. Awesome. I even got a video of the process showing how easy it is. That's Perfect. awesome. Oh, yeah. Hi, John Francis. Perfect. Mm -hmm. John says, uh, are you the owner of Sell Back Your Book? No. The guy next to Caleb. No. Nope. He works for them. He's their sales director? Correct. Yeah, manager. director. Director, no manager. Manager is sales like... Sales director. He directs man sales. Manager is like five people below me. Like, <laughs> we don't even have one yet. But if we did, there would be like He's five the director. Years. I'm the director. Will this Q&A be saved online? Yes. Forever. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Can't wait. I'm going to watch it every day. Every morning. It's going to be there. But uh, yes, this will be saved. It'll be in the Facebook group. You can come back and watch it anytime. It'll also be on YouTube. The book flipper community. Uh, do you send out 1099s at the end of the year? We do not. What about 1199s? <laughs> it doesn't mean we won't like at a later date, but right now we do not. Cool. So I don't deal with any of that. So this is our first year doing this. Um, to be continued. Yeah. So, but at the moment we don't. All right. I think that's it. Good question. Yeah. Guys, the last one if you want it. Yep. It said, are you planning on doing a regional system like Phoenix and Florida warehouses? Where you could ship to there instead? For us? Well, you guys are paying for no. shipping, so it yeah. shouldn't matter to the sellers right. where your warehouse is located. Right. Yeah, we pick up from California. Um, the farthest we picked up, I mean, West Coast. Alaska? Like, no, we, we actually cannot do Alaska. I checked in Alaska. And it's, How about Hawaii? It's crazy. <laughs> okay, that's kind of <laughs> Submarines. Book All right, submarines. continental U.S. states. Yeah. And Canada. Correct. Okay. Anywhere in Canada. Anywhere. Um, Saskatchewan. Yeah, Quebec. I think. I, that's in Canada. Ontario. Also. In that's, Canada. All, that's all the cities I know. In Canada. <laughs> Montreal Banff. and Toronto. Vancouver. And Edmonton. We have clients in Edmonton. Hello. <laughs> and um, Vancouver. That's all. Montreal. Right. St. John's. That's a bank. Thorold. I know Thorold. Thorold. I've been there. That's a good place. Yeah, I have been that's, there. Yeah. It's a good place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mississauga. And, uh, Just kidding. That's not really. Ottawa. All right. We digress. No, again. no, 10 more minutes to Canadian cities. <laughs> Guys and gals, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, putting up with us and our uh, 
lame attempts at humor and sometimes <laughs> this will be available if you do have questions tag bill he loves waking up with 800 facebook messages love it so tag him i really I, do I, I spent the last the first 19 years of my business not like broadcasting on facebook not being on there a lot to catch up for and the last seven eight months like being front so uh excuse the stammering and you know this <laughs> part of it and uh, all that but I'll, I'll get the cobwebs shaken sweet but uh yeah i love being here thank you for the opportunity matthew as well uh, it's amazing. These guys know their stuff. It's been the perfect team. And Glenn and I and everybody at Selvac and my bulk team specifically are just so happy to be with you guys and uh, do this together. And uh, they are the perfect team, the perfect partner for this. And we're, we're proud. And uh, it's going to be great. So, And down the line, anything we can do, let's go for it. Sweet. Thanks for coming out to Denver. Thanks for having me. He has a, an average golf game. So <laughs> if you guys ever want to hit him up, he's, uh, that's fun. And uh, if you guys are ever in Colorado and you want to put your own sticker underneath the Scout IQ headquarters logo, come on out, get a photo in front of our beautiful orange wall, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Later. <laughs>